Right, so let's make a quick prediction. There's a very good chance that this might become my most disliked video I have ever made, ever. But if you are a nine-year-old Jake Pauler, just hear me out before you try and help your lord and saviour. Right, so before we get in this video, I just want to let you all know my social media is all at Calamarky with two E's. That's Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. If you leave a like on this video, send me a screenshot of you leaving a like on the video, and I'll follow you on that social media. Not only do I have them social medias, I also have a second channel. I've uploaded a brand new video yesterday as I'm recording this, so if you could, check that out. It's always linked in the description and yeah make sure you subscribe and just a little bit of a heads up there's gonna be a giveaway on there soon so you might want to be over there just a, just a hint right so Jake Paul has very much been in the YouTube news recently mainly because his amazing musical talent that he seems to think he has is just non-existent but that's not what we're talking about today I came across this video and it's by a guy called Mick Mayo or Mayo I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name but anyways it got me thinking so he basically made a video where he talks about how he used to hang out with team 10 and they just aren't anything like they seem to be on vlogs um, those guys are slightly Slaves. Every single person in our house is a slave to Jake Paul, whether they believe it or not, they know they are. And he even went on to say that the reason why him himself isn't in Team 10 is because Nick Bloody Crompton, you know, like the England is my city geezer, he said that Mick could only be in Team 10 if he does him some favours. He was only interested in um, signing me to Team 10 if he had certain things um, I did to make him happy and obviously that wasn't going to happen. And I'll show you some screenshots up here. Nice message that like mate. Oh and it just gets even better. So yeah like I said it got me thinking I decided to have a little bit of a look around to see any more videos that aren't just on the Team 10 channel and just on the Jake Paul channel see what other people are seeing of them. So yeah I just wanted to find out who the real Team 10 are and it just gets so much worse. I feel like I'm gonna start from like the smallest point to like the biggest point so it literally just gets worse and worse as the video goes on. So it starts with a video of someone who saw one of the Martinez twins out in the public. This is the kid that's done like the Spanish part in that like everyday bro song. And the guy was just asking, like, what did you say? I'm not Spanish. What did you say? Let me know. What about your Spanish verses? What, what are you saying in Spanish? What I said? Yeah. I said that all I want is money. Well, at least you're honest, mate. Forget the whole dabbing on the haters thing that Jake likes to do every time he wakes up. I hope you're dabbing on them haters. This lad was literally just like, you know what? I'm in it for the money. Screw you all. And can we just take a moment to look at the tags for this video? Stupid famous people. I couldn't agree more. The funny thing about this video is that you can just tell that these are the wrong people to be answering these type of questions. Like the paparazzi guy actually asked Nick if the pranks are completely fake. Now even though most of us will already know that they are fake, he just doesn't answer the question well at all. He screws Jake over. Prank wars, if they were staged, are, are they staged or are they real? Which ones? You can just tell he completely regrets saying that. He then tries to save it, but it just doesn't work at all. Just any of them. <laughs> no, they're all real. They're, they're all, all real? real? Yeah. Mate, you've just said which ones. You can't just say they're all real all of a sudden. It just doesn't work like that. Not to mention that there's actually a video of Jake Paul and Logan Paul planning one of their infamous prank wars. How's everything going with uh, Coachella? Did you have a good time? It was okay. It was okay. I was, there to, I was there to grind. Oh, just kill me now. What was that? But forget that, right? Jake sees that someone's recording, right? So he decides to hop in his truck, drive away, and drive up to Logan's car. This way, he's hoping that the paparazzi guy's not going to follow him because he's driving off in his truck. But the paparazzi guy decides, nah, I'm going to keep filming. He literally stops next to Logan, talks to him for a bit, plans out the prank, and then drives back home. He's literally drove about a few meters, and he drives back home. Then Logan gets out of his car, gets a few clips in his camera, and decides to walk to Jake's house as if nothing's happened. Jake's not suspecting a thing. Not to mention when Logan starts walking to the house, he sees someone's filming, so he decides to hide behind a piece of cardboard to hide his identity. Mate, it's a bit late for that. I think you've already blown your cover. If you want to know what prank they were actually planning at this time, it's the one where Logan puts some posters on Jake's wall of himself, hence why he's carrying the tubes. So you might be thinking, let's have a look at the actual prank. Maybe Jake knew all along. I mean, surely you can't be too surprised. They've already spoke about it. Well, I think we have about 10 minutes left, so I'm going to put up one or two more, maybe one right there and one right there, and we'll call it a uh oh, we just got a call. What? 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 Yo, Jake, Jake just came in. He's in his office right now. What up, G? That's my boy. What are you doing, bro? Oh, and as you can see, Jake had absolutely no idea that Logan was in his household. In fact, Jake wasn't even home himself, so how would he know? <coughs> Right, so the final thing I want to talk about in this video is how they treat their fans. You remember when Nick, the Martinez twin, and then one of the other lads were just walking down the street earlier? Well, it turns out they don't take pictures with the fans unless it's in a vlog. And it was at this exact moment that this kid realised that his heroes were actually absolute twats. You can stand out front, we'll talk to you, we'll say hi to you.
Oh, but it gets worse. So the Team 10 lot decided to do a video where they wash people's cars, right? They literally invited their fans on Twitter to come to their house and join them for the video. So Jake walks out to his house, walks towards his fans, and he realizes that someone's wearing Logan Paul merch. Literally the merch of his own brother. Not somebody he hates, not an enemy, not Alyssa Violet, his own brother. He then tells the kid to take off the jumper or he can't be in the vlog. He's going to blur him out of the vlog. What the hell? Like the kids around him just think he's joking at first, but the more it goes, on, you can just tell Jake's being 100 percent serious. You just have a big blur over you on the whole vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. And the funny thing is, that kid doesn't appear in the whole vlog until something certain happens that we'll get into in a second. One of Jake's mates, who's called Chad, I believe, goes up to the kid, says, mate, can I just grab your jumper a second, let me have a look, grabs the kid's jumper, throws it on the floor, and stomps all over it. A kid's jumper, and it's a grown man destroying a kid's clothing. For a second, just let me look at it for a second. Oh! This kid or his parents have spent actual money that they've worked hard for to buy this piece of clothing and this random bloke just walked up and destroyed it. Normal thing to do, it honestly is. Can someone please explain how this is seen as an okay thing to do? And from this footage you can actually see that Jake is filming it, right? So is it in the vlog? No, he completely cuts around it. There. What? what, what? He tries to make it seem as if they're just having a laugh with this kid. Nah, someone else was filming me, you got a bit caught out. He just doesn't want to destroy his Disney brand, does he, mate? I see it, you're a genius, Jake. Only treat your fans like crap off camera. Genius. Right, so that's it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like down below. I can imagine it's going to get dislike bombed to hell from like Jake's fans because they're all like little kids. They don't really understand like what's happening. I mean, that's cool. That's all right. I don't care about that. But if you did enjoy it, please just leave a like down below. It'd be madly appreciated. And as always, I'm going to ask you guys to answer a question in the comment section below and I'll reply to every single answer. The question for today's video is, what's your honest opinions on Jake Paul? Just let me know. I don't care what you say. You can say it good. You can say it bad. It's completely up to you. It's your own opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion let me know in the comments what you think about him i'm gonna put a poll in the corner there right if you click that poll up there you can vote i basically want to start doing vlogs on my second channel but i don't know whether i do them like daily or like every other day or do like a weekly vlog so i vlog my whole week and then put it into one video so it's up to you vote there so i'll say like daily or weekly let me know i've been watching characters vlogs a lot recently and it's made me want to do them myself and i remember theo baker started this thing where he done like weekly vlogs so i kind of want to like bring that into my channel but i'm not too sure yet you guys can vote and obviously i'll keep up the football videos as well because you guys have been enjoying them and yeah that is it thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys later go